hello 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 book to world it's i queen nicole and i'm back with another video so today i'm coming to you mad late as you know i was on a hiatus for about six months so i am very late in the game but i still love the end of the year tags i love the end of the year videos i love the new year's resolution videos i love the mid-year freak out tags so because i missed the new year and i wasn't able to film a like resolution video or like reading goals for 2021 i figured why not do them halfway through the year you know what i'm saying so <laughs> So I wanted to put a little stamp on 2021 and still do one of my favorite videos. So I'm going to give you guys 10 of my very am like somewhat ambitious goals for the latter half of the year. I'm trying I have been trying to accomplish these goals already on the first half of the year. Now that we're coming to the second half of the year, I'm going to try to accomplish these goals. So let's get into that. Okay, so my first very ambitious goal for the year of 2021 is to don't laugh at me because I'm already behind but um I want to read 100 books this year <laughs> last year I read like 64 books something like that because I was so close to my reading goal and my boyfriend bet me that if I finished my reading goal that he would take me on a shopping spree so I did finish my reading goal and I did have said shopping spree and in the midst of all of that I decided let's just up the ante for the next year so for 2021 I decided that 100 books was going to be my goal and I am <laughs> losing my mind because i'm really trying hard to actually accomplish that goal so right now i've only read 17 books we're halfway through the year we're off to a terrible start but i'm still reaching i'm still hopeful i'm still trying my best to accomplish that goal um will it happen i don't know but like once i set my mind to something it, it's not i'm not going to be deterred like i don't care if i have to hide myself for two weeks to read as many books as possible i will do that so that's my first goal of 2021. <laughs> my second reading goal for 2021 is to read more books that I usually don't read. I feel like most of the time I read books that are my favorite, but I want to pick up books that are outside of the genre that I'm used to. Like the my favorite genre is fantasy. So for the most part, I usually pick up fantasy books or I pick up books that have like magical realism or just something that I'm comfortable with or something that I know that I'm going to enjoy. But I've been trying to read other books that are like, you know, thrillers or um, psychology books or like nonfiction books or um, comics, manga. Like I've just been trying to read more books outside of like my normal box and just give all of the books a chance so that I know, okay, this is not what I like, this is what I do like, find more authors that I like, try more translated books, try books that are picture books, just, you know, I just want to just mix it up so I don't get bored. And I have plenty of room to do that since I want to read 100 books this year, so that is my second reading goal. My third reading goal is to build up my Instagram and do more book looks and cosplays, so I've really been trying very hard on my Instagram and I love taking pictures i've loved taking pictures since the beginning of time like since we got smartphones and we were able to just carry around like a portable camera i've been like taking pictures of everything i love taking pictures i love taking pictures of myself i love coming up with different poses and different color schemes and different outfits so i've really been working hard on my instagram just to build up my feed because i like to look at my instagram and be proud of pictures that i've take taken or um, how many poses I can do with a book <laughs> because I just I feel more excited to read a book if I take like a picture with it I know it sounds like weird but like once I take a picture of a book I really make sure that I read it so I'm just not like a fraud taking picture with books taking pictures with books that I have not read and I think I've been doing a really good job with like book looks but I haven't really done too many cosplays so I do want to work on that just doing things that really make me oh my god my hair's driving me crazy <laughs> just doing things that make me happy because everything doesn't need to be a source of income because my instagram is very small i'm under a thousand followers but i'm really proud and i enjoy taking my pictures so i'm going to continue to do that and i feel like it's really important to do things that you love aside from it making you money especially being an adult i want to have more outlets that involve like me plugging into things that bring me joy so um, my instagram is very poppin if you want to go over there check it out follow your girl at capri book island you can follow me on twitter and goodreads and all of those things
you. My fourth reading goal is to make my book nook. I've been so inspired by like people that have these crazy colorful libraries and like these areas where they have like pillows and um, all these pictures and just colorful bookshelves. Like I really love Monica Kim's book nook, like her little area that she's made. It's so beautiful. It's more like my style. Like I feel like when I make my nook is gonna have like flowers and colors and just bts and just things that make me happy so like when i see stuff like that it just brings me so much inspiration and i just really want to put a stamp on my own little mini library like before i get a house and have my husband future husband build my library which will be happening i'm gonna go ahead and manifest that she Because I feel like when I'm reading and I can just like sit in a beanbag and just like look around at this little area that I've created, it's like being in my own little world. So I really, really, really want to do that this year. My fifth reading goal is <laughs> to make a book club. I don't, I don't know if this is even going to happen because I'm always so busy. But I really want to just have a book club where like I'm in charge and I can meet up with like a small group of people and we can just all talk about books we loved or books we hated or anything. And that's one of my biggest goals but I just I just I don't have much time but I am making moves right now so that I have more free time once I do get back home away from working in a different state for a year so hopefully once I get back home I can really focus on making my own little community of people where I can like talk to people about books and pick the books that we're gonna read and it's just so interesting to see so many booktubers come up with these ideas for like book clubs and just all these themes and all these like read-alongs that they do it just seems like so much fun so I really want to make my own book club even if it is in the later part of the year so the sixth reading goal that I have for this year is I want to host a live like I want to make live read-alongs and just like talk to you guys and stuff like that even if it's only like 10 of y'all that show up i'll be like what's up i want to make them like a themed live like i talked about this on twitter how like it would be so cool instead of, like like a sleepover they'd be like oh everybody wear pink you know what i'm saying or like oh everybody show up in pajamas or like a theme party i want to do like themed lives so i'll be like okay everybody wear purple or okay everybody come in pajamas or everybody come in your red carpet attire like i just want to have like themed live shows because i just think that's so much fun and now that i have all this new equipment nothing can hold me back so once i figure out set equipment it will be happening so mark your calendars <laughs> once i do do lives i feel like it'll be at the end of the month because i'll have the entire month to prepare and i'm a big scheduler and planner so i feel like once i do lives they'll be towards the end of the uh, end of the month so hopefully I can make that happen. <laughs> My seventh goal is something that I was supposed to be doing in 2020 and it never happened. <laughs> and that is to catch up on my Goodreads reviews. So many people have been following my Goodreads reviews. Like every time I get that notification saying, so-and-so is following your reviews, I just die inside because I'm so behind on my reviews. Like at one point, I think I had like 20 reviews left to do and that never happened so i'm like now i'm like 70 reviews behind and i've just been trying to do like 10 a day <laughs> to just like knock them out but then like sometimes i forget about them or i'm doing other things or the entire day disappears or i'm working so i think i just need to sit down and make a schedule and make it happen because like every time i finish a book i'm excited but then dreading the fact that i have to add that book to my list and my friends were telling me that the best thing to do is literally after I finish it to do the review because even if and it makes me upset when I haven't reviewed a book that I really really loved because I just I don't remember everything I felt while I was reading that book and if I didn't annotate it it's like impossible for me to even do a review on it after and it just makes me sad because I feel like I should have done the review as soon as I finish so yeah I'm gonna try to change that habit and fix that because it's really upsetting when i don't review books that i really really loved and i have to like come up with a review months later or a year later follow a read-along i haven't really been seeing too many people do read-alongs like read-alongs were very popular in like 2019 and 2020 like everybody had these themes like sailor moon readathon and harry potter readathons and all these readathons that people were coming up with with crazy maps and cool themes and all this stuff but i haven't really been seeing that happen too much i've been seeing a lot of like live shows and, and sprints happening in 2021 but i do hope that someone 
comes up with like a read along like i really think i'll probably follow along for smutathon which is towards the end of the year but i do want to follow along for readathon because it's just so much fun when everybody's reading books and everybody's like in different teams and especially when it's like a competition and you guys like are combining points and combining like things you're trying to reach it's just it's just so much fun it's just it just makes me so happy to be in the book community and it's just been so much drama and so much chaos with like authors and just the world and stuff like that i really just want to be in a read-along where i'm just like surrounded by other book nerds and we can just like talk about books and compete against each other and just have a good time because i've done one before i've done a few before and i've had always had a great experience so i really want to do that this year my ninth reading goal is to do a bookish collab so i really like doing like collabs on my channel i like doing like reading along with someone or buddy reads or stuff like that but i swear buddy reads are so doomed the only like successful buddy read i've had so far is with my boyfriend i set the pages we read and then we come together and we talk about it but anytime i've done like a buddy read with a friend we always like forget or like because there's no like set pages or set goals just like we have a we just like okay we're gonna read this book together but like we don't set pages or anything like that so then it just like never happens so i do want to do a buddy read but like with content so i do have something planned with one of my friends what i'm really excited for with a popular book series that you'll be seeing coming soon which is just us reading the books together and like creating content and a vlog following along our experience while reading that series so i am excited to do that and i just want to do more more videos like that where it's like a collab with another creator and we're reading along together and i just love when like you have opposite reactions like one person loves it and the other person hates it i just think that's so cool and it's fun to like document so that is another one of my reading goals my 10th reading goal is something that is not like really reading related or something that i'm going to put too much pressure on myself for but it is to grow my channel i'm at 3k right now and i really just want to just boom you know what i'm saying like i really don't want to be like i'm fame i you know i'm famous i want to be famous hey i want to be famous <laughs> or whatever but like i really just want to grow my channel more and like my goal for this year is to get to 5k i would really appreciate that because i really work hard with my content i don't just work hard for views i work hard because i really enjoy filming and i enjoy editing and i enjoy posting and talking to people even if it is a small group but i do want to grow my channel more and just be able to have more opportunities and stuff like that with publishers and other creators so i do want to get those numbers up you know what i'm saying and just uh get monetized <laughs> and just accomplish those goals as a creator but i don't want to put too much pressure on myself because i am very laxed with my channel and i have so many ideas and so many things i, I film and i love doing all of them so i don't focus too much on the numbers and the analytics and all that shit i don't focus on that because i honestly i'm not gonna lie i don't be knowing what the hell is going on with that so yeah but i do want to grow my channel and hopefully get to 5k by the end of this year so so that is it those are all 10 of my reading goals for 2021 some of them are ambitious some of them are mild some of them are low some of them i can't accomplish some of them i will work really hard to accomplish or they will carry on into 2022 but um let me know in the comment section below what some of your reading goals are or if you have accomplished any of your reading goals for this year if you have made it this far in the video leave a dragon emoji leave a dragon emoji if you've made it to the end of this video i hope everyone is accomplishing their rating goals i hope everyone is accomplishing their goals for the year i hope everyone is happy and healthy and taking care of themselves thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go do my hair my leg is falling asleep <laughs> always remember read a book keep your life interesting and i will see you next time bye